we're in the SAG building. I want to know how each of you got your SAG card. I got my SAG card from doing a co-star on the West Wing. Oh, that's a good and, one. And I was intern Susan, and I had one line, and it was with um, Bradley Whitford. And I walk up to him with some pizza, and I say, this is for Mr. Lyman from the Southwest Gate. Mervyn's commercial, 2006. <laughs> well, first it was just, I was, they are just going to take photos of me in clothing. Did you do the modeling thing? But like, so yeah, they flew me to San Francisco and they put me in front of this like white wall and there were all these executives standing there and they're just like, dance, boy, dance. I'm like, dance? I'm like dancing and they're like taking photos and videotaping. Yeah, walk down the street. I think I did that. That was That's a pretty nice a way to get your SAG card. Yeah, oh, You didn't dude. have to memorize any lines like this. Either. No lines and it paid like... Uh, I did a, uh, a commercial doing a public service announcement about smokers, and uh, <laughs> I love it. yeah, and I was like, I played the smoker and I was coughing up. <laughs> I did a uh, 1996 Olympic McDonald's commercial. No way. Oh, I was like a, I think I was a gymnast, or they had me dressed as a gymnast I was or say, something. You look like you could be a gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the first, no, seriously, and it was, yeah, that's how I got my side card, but it was, it was the first time that I saw that they would paint the burgers with grease. Oh, like wow. Like, before they shot, yes. they had, like, little paint brushes with grease, yeah. I did an episode of Mind of the Married Man. They, like, came to Chicago to shoot The Exteriors, which was this show on HBO, and they wanted someone, I was supposed to be the younger version of Sonia Walger for this uh, flashback sort of scene, and, um... Mike Binder, who was directing it, was like, you know what, this isn't the stage. You don't have to project. And I was like, oh. And that's how I got my SAG card. I was in Canada, and I was a uh, proud actor member. The, uh, which I, what does it say? It's Canadian television film. Anyway, and so, yeah, and that, and that, that, is. And that uh, <laughs> makes you eligible for a SAG membership, which I quickly. Hey, uh, no one told me that. Oh, yeah. Mine was a movie called Dunstan Checks In starring Jason Alexander and a monkey. And my dance agent said, do you like know how to speak? And I was like, yeah. Remember Stu Siegel? Oh my gosh, I do. I did a Silk Stockings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Pretty sure I got Taft Hartlead into, into it. I actually got Taft Hartlead. Yeah, well, that's how, I mean, you have to, right? You get the job, you taft Hartley, and you, like, your entire paycheck goes to your, like, pay the yes. union. Actually, yes, pay you pay you, like, to work. You pay, you, like, yes. lose money I do know that. to work. I'm not telling you anymore. We're all going to go search for it now. Not it's saying come up. anything oh my gosh. anymore. Your first on-screen kiss. Me and this one? No, in oh, in, in oh. oh, that was that job. <laughs> that my the right man one. job, yes. It was very efficient. Well, yeah. they broke you right in. You yeah. got your SAG card. You got, I had to you make out with that guy. How was it? Ironically, or coincidentally, my first kiss was with a guy, too. <laughs> it was an independent film, and I was still in theater school, so I was delighted at the prospect of doing anything, and I had to kiss him. My first <laughs> kiss was a dude, I think. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, on Grey's Anatomy. It must have been on Quarter Life, and I was kissing um, Mike Fiola. He's super cute, so it was fun. <laughs> beat him up. Beat I wasn't beat gonna say anything. Up. I wasn't gonna say anything. Oh, I used to be on this MTV soap called Undressed, and there was a little bit more than kissing on that one, but I nice. that was my first. <laughs> Maybe it was you, you, like when that episode when you attacked me because you got bitten by a. You, I don't think that's true. No, I'm, honestly, I don't, I mean, I don't, I've, all my characters were like. I don't. I never had a relation like romantic relationships. In, in, in That's so sweet. I feel so I've special. Ever, I don't know that it's true, but I'm I think it might be. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Honestly, I it's don't know. Okay, so recently, I don't know if you guys know this or not, there was uh, an auction dinner to have dinner with the cast of you guys, and somebody yes. paid fourteen thousand yeah. dollars. Yes. Who would you guys pay fourteen thousand dollars to have dinner with? Goodness. I would love to like sit with like Ray Bolger from uh, The Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah. I was just growing up. It was oh, just and a why huge would fan. you say that? I'd say I'd say two. Daniel Day Lewis, one, and Roger Federer. I'm a big Roger Federer fan. Are you, Are you really? He's my like oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, no. You know, all I think of is like dead, like oh Einstein or you know Gandhi <laughs> or you know. But like in the real world, who would I really pay? I'd probably like to. Like Picasso, you know? Yeah. yeah. But nobody. <laughs> you 
you keep the money. I would, keep, <laughs> I would just go to a really, 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 really fancy restaurant with somebody. Got it. That would could like and buy like a ten thousand dollar bottle. Oh, of wine. I love that. Can I, I come? Like <laughs> Fra Frank Sinatra, like in his heyday. Julie Andrews. Tom Waits. Quick. And nobody else had to really think about it. Yet. I, can add, I can add a few more to it. Go, keep uh, going. Leonard Cohen, Iggy Pop, David Bowie. Oh. Yeah. I'd even double that. If I just Julia. If I'm going to pay that much money, it's yeah. just me and Julie one just on Julia. one. Wait, That's Julie it. Andrews? Yeah. That's a dumb Would you sing? No, I just want her to order. We just keep sending her out all the time. Boy, the hills really are alive, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I would say, well, there's the thing about you don't want to meet your heroes, but it would probably be like a Ricky Gervais type thing. Yeah. It's a, this is a hard question for him to answer because he's, you know, me. Yeah. Metallic, yeah. yeah. I mean, because right. she's $14,000 a dinner. You know, it's, just, <laughs> um, it's awkward to say in front of her. Uh, yeah, Bitsy would be the one. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm going to test you guys how well you know each other at this point. Name each other's favorite restaurant? I'd say Bamboo Sushi. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? Sarah's. Oh, you're good. Those are pretty close. Yeah. It's like the newlywed game. That's a, he goes to Bamboo every day. I go to Sarah's every day. <laughs> so you're not eating together? Oh, we win. Yes. We're a couple of wins. <laughs> what is each other's favorite workout routine? David likes to get on the recumbent bike. That's right. Yeah. What's a recumbent bike? It's the one where you're kind of sitting down. You're it's not like, you're right? sleeping. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I think you like this thing where she'll take like a 45 pound like, like man weight mm -hmm. and uh, she'll like do bench presses with it. Yeah. Only because I've seen this posted on various social media sites. <laughs> And then she'll do like the girl muscle flex thing, like baby. Look I do do that. Arms yeah. Like they're big. Favorite gadget? Does the other person have a favorite gadget? She she is made of gadget. You have more. I couldn't pick your favorite one because you've got so many. I do. I'm a bit of a like. It, I I drank the Kool Aid with Apple, and so if they put out something new, I'll just buy it. I don't even need it, you know. But I'll just like get it. Silas's favorite gadget is his AM transistor radio that he listens to in his trailer. Are you serious? On like level 17 volume. The joke on set is that I was born 40, so I'm actually like 85 years old. <laughs> Any hidden talents? Nobody knows about what a great stand-up comic you are. Oh, I feel like that's player. a hidden talent. <laughs> Am I wrong, or did you tap at some point? Did tap. Yeah. yeah. Can you still tap? I can. Do you need the shoes? Yes. I yeah. I, I don't it clogs. Like tap in these. You move, and I'll make the sound. There you have it, ladies and germs. <laughs>